Hey guys, it's Maya. I'm back today with another video about Roam Research. I'm going to show you how you can personalize your database and make it yours and only yours. I'm going to show you how you can modify the appearance according to your taste and style of note-taking. For a short period of time, I was really into bullet journaling and I think what attracted me most to it was all the colors and drawings and all the other embellishments you can do while writing daily. That's how my mind seems to work best. I'm going to show you how you can do that with Roam, which has a place for me, bullet journaling. Um, I tend to write way more and also uh, stick to it for a longer time. I'm also very much a beginner at coding and I think you need no knowledge whatsoever in coding to do this. Um, I'm going to show you how you can use what's out there on the internet and play with it in a short series on themes in Rome Research. Anyways, today part one, Maggie Appleton's beautiful styling. First thing you have to do is download the plugin that allows you to modify the CSS styling of any site in your browser. Now to do that, um, you just have to click on new tab or new window and um, look for stylus extension. Okay. Now you're going to click on the first link and then here you're going to click on add to Chrome. I'm not going to click because mine is already up there. Okay. Next, you have to prepare your workspace. To do that, you're just going to go to daily notes, then click on the little stylus icon up here. And then um, underneath write style four, you're going to click on Rome research. And here is your blank workspace. Now you have to go and get the code. I'm going to use Maggie Appleton's code. She posted it on GitHub publicly, and I'm really thankful for this because if not, I would have not been able to uh, personalize my room. And don't worry, I'm going to put the uh, link in the description box below. And um, next, you have to copy paste this. So I'm just going to drag it until the end, just like that then copy and then paste it into your workspace there. And now here it is. This is going to be your code that you're going to work with. Okay. And you're going to click save. And before, how about we just rename it something? So Maggie's, um, Maggie's Rome theme, theme, theme. Okay. Maggie's Rome theme and then click save. And now if I go here on June 3rd, you can see that it personalized it or um, it changed it. Now here you can see that uh, the June 3rd isn't that nice, okay? Which means that something is wrong, which means that we don't have a certain font. And now I'm going to go check my code and I can see here, up here, make sure you have the fonts, na na na. And... Um, I can I don't have the lateral font so you just have to download it you're just gonna um, copy paste this in a new tab then click on um, where is it download family I'm gonna click on this then double click you do it like that and then you just pick which one you want either this one I think this one yes I like this one so double click on it again and then click install font. Okay, there. Just like that. Okay. Now I'm going to go back to my room research. To my code, I mean. And then, oh no, to my room research. And you can see that it put it in the lateral font. Now here I'm just going to explain a little bit. Here um, in purple, it's the links. You can see over here. That if I click on the side, I have the link Chrome extension, blah, blah, blah. And here I have the link for the GitHub. Now, I have another trick to show you guys. I'm going to show you it right now. You can um, insert a link very easily by doing command K. And it automatically puts the, the square brackets and the parentheses. And this is just for naming a link. So let's say I want to put in this link. Copy and then paste it in between the parentheses. Like that, and then I name it whatever I want. So Maggie, Maggie's Rome theme, theme code. There. And then if I click on the side, you can see that it appeared over there. Okay, so it's still purple because it's still a link. Now here in orange, I have the um, square brackets like this, and uh, the square brackets, which means uh, the page references. And then I have the hashtag over here, over here, and the schoolwork in C. Now, 
I'm going to show you how you can change some of these things. I'm going to go back to my uh, coding area, coding workspace, sorry. And then here you can see that uh, H1 through H6 is um, the font family is going to be Lato. So basically all the headings, so heading one, blah, blah, blah is going to be in the Lato font. And here, text area, I think it means um, the whole text, the whole like whole text is going to be in open sans, except for the headings. And here you can just explore a little bit, try to see if you can understand some of the things. For example, um, where does it say? Right sidebar is the background color is going to be gray. Then lower, oh yeah, here I have the page references bracket, the page reference brackets. And here it says display none, which means that they're not going to appear, you see, and the brackets are not there. Now I can actually make them appear by just deleting display none. And if I go here, you can see the square brackets appear. And of course, you can just add a color by writing color, then two dots, and then let's say pink, just like that, and then that. And if I go here, you can see that my square brackets turned pink. Now, of course, you just play around. You know, you can also write a specific color, but I don't want to do that. I'm just gonna uh, display, display, and then none. Like that. Okay. And now you can see that they are gone. If you continue scrolling down, you can um, see that. Oh, right here you have page reference link color, which means it's the color of the link. Now here it's orange, right? What if I wanted, hmm, green. Let's try green. Put it on green, I'm gonna put it like this. And if I go back here, you can see that it's green. You can also play with the how thick you want it to be. So for example, now it's 600, let's say I wanted 900. Go back here and you can see that it's thicker, okay? And Right here in purple, it's going to be the links. Then if you keep going down, you can see here, this is what appears, which is the custom data tags. Now here, this is a tag. So basically uh, hashtags. Okay. Now she personalized hers by um, writing a block of code. But she personalized, for example, the Twitter post hashtag or the liter literature notes hashtag. But what if we want to personalize YouTube or the Christophe hashtag? To do that, you just have to delete Twitter post or whatever it's written and you uh, type in something else, a hashtag that you want to pop out because it's important. For example, Le Christophe. Now let's say I want this in yellow, okay? To do that, I'm going to go on background, which is um, blue, but I don't want it blue. I'm going to take it yellow. And let's see, I want the text in black. Okay, so it's going to be like a B kind of. <laughs> okay, and here I have the padding, which is basically like this cushion, like highlighting something, but a bit more rounded. And let's say I want it more uh, bold. Oopsie. To do that, I'm just going to click 800, for example. And now, if I go back here, you can see that Le Christophe is like this. And you can do the same with YouTube and Schooler can see. What if YouTube, I don't want it to have any padding? What if I just want it to be black? Oopsie. I'm going to go here. And instead of literature notes, for example, I can just copy paste this. I'm going to do that, actually. Copy and then paste it. Here. It's going to do the same thing, but I don't want it to be Le Christophe, I want it to be YouTube. So the hashtag YouTube is going to be the same as Le Christophe, like this. But I don't want it to be like that. I don't want to have no background. So I just boop, delete the background. Okay? You can see that it's just in black, which is what I wanted, right? Um, of course, you can just play with this and you're going to get way more comfortable using it. And trust me, if you get used to this, it's going to be really awesome because with Stylus, you can... Um, you can edit and customize any any web page so you better get learned learn no get used to it yeah <laughs> so that's about it for our for today i'm actually going to just show you one last thing which is going to be mine my how i personalized mine so i'm going to save this i'm going to go back to daily notes and to switch between codes all you have to do is go on the stylus then click uh, the other one which is 
Maya's room theme. You just unclick this and then click this one. Like that. Now this is these I chose different fonts. If you guys I'm gonna show you what the fonts are. Um I'm gonna open it here. Oh no, what happened? Wait. Where's my code? Oh yeah, here. Gonna edit it like that, and this is it. Here I have the Amatic S A S C as my uh, heading font, and then I have the Indie Flower as my um, text font, which is all of this. And of course, you can just change even the little checkmark color if you want. Um, hope to see you guys again, and don't forget to play and explore this, and customize your fonts, tags, page references, and spacing and sizing. And come back to our channel for the next video on themes.